Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. This week, or this week in May, is Mental Health Awareness Week. And the focus this week is on kindness. And it's into this that I really want to speak. And I'm going to focus on a number of different types of kindness. So the first thing I want to focus on is kindness to self. Because quite often the, the most disruptive, most nasty thing to us, to our own well-being, is ourselves. That critical thought in our head, our thoughts <laughs> more than thought, telling us that we're not good enough, that um, we haven't achieved enough, that we just aren't enough. That judgment, that um, constant berating and picking at. Um, I know that I've got one of those in my head. Um, I have learned to live with it and you can't stop the thoughts, especially initially, but what you can do is refocus them. So when you catch yourself thinking that you aren't good enough, that your body isn't the way you want it, that you haven't achieved enough, that you there's something you're not doing that you think you should be doing, instead of getting cross with yourself for thinking the thoughts, which is <laughs> compounding the problem, maybe try and refocus and look at the things that you like about yourself, what you're proud of, what you're happy about. Um, or you can even focus outward and think about how you can take your kindness and share it with others. Because the more you're kind to yourself, the more you come from a beautiful space, a kind space, and the more kindness and love you have to give others. The next focus I'd like to look at is kindness to those that we care about, those that we love, our friends and our family. Because quite often in our relationships with others, we can look at what we want to get from those relationships. So look at being accepted, look at um, wanting to be belong, wanting to be admired, esteemed, wanting people to make us happy and make us joyful or give us a fun time or wanting someone to love us or to care about us. It takes a different mindset to start asking what can we give and in this week where the focus is kindness maybe we can focus on how we can be kind to those that we love and that we care about and that are nearest and dearest to us. And it might just be a message or a phone call. Um, it doesn't even have to say very much. You might just say, I'm thinking of you, you're in my thoughts. Um, or share a memory and just say, this popped into my head. Didn't we have a lovely time together? And if you want to take it even deeper, the greatest gift you can give somebody is understanding. When we're coming from a space of what we can get from somebody else, we're focused on ourselves, on our own internal dialogue and needs. When we start shifting that and looking at what we can give, we can also connect with people and start to really deeply listen to them and enter into a dialogue with them from curiosity, where the curiosity is to understand the person that we're actually with and interacting with. And that is a huge gift. It costs nothing but your focus and your time that you can give somebody, because very few of us have ever been truly seen and deeply understood. And it's an incredibly beautiful gift to be able to give somebody. The next focus that I want to look at is focusing on others. Focusing on those people that we don't know. And when I lived in Botswana, I, I didn't even know what inspired me. I decided to do this little experiment. And I decided that for a week, I was going to, when I was out driving, I was going to let everyone that I could in, in front of me, um, whether they were at a T-junction or whether they were on a um, whether we were on a dual carriageway and they wanted to pull in, I would just let them in with no kind of resentment, with just an open-hearted feeling of being kind to those people around me. Now, what happened really was quite unexpected because in Botswana, and I don't mean this in a critical way, but people don't generally tend to be that courteous when you're driving. <laughs> it can be every man for himself quite often. But what I noticed over the week of me letting people in is that more people let me in. I saw more kindness. And there's no ways that the people I'd let in knew and remembered me to be able to let me in when they saw me again. It, it was more than that, it was bigger than that. And in my excitement, I shared this with a friend of mine. Um, and she went out and did exactly the same and excitedly came back to me and shared that she had experienced the same thing. 
Now, with lockdown, we aren't able to go out and drive around as much as maybe you would have done in the past. But maybe you can find another way to play with this idea of being kind to those people you meet. Maybe in the supermarket when you're out getting your essentials, or when you're out on your walks and letting people through. Um, but it's, it's a way to be kind to the world around us. And something else that I want to share with you as well around how we approach kindness is how you approach this exploration or this sensing into kindness. And something I'm, I'm, I'm certainly not perfect and I don't do it all the time, but something that I try to do is I try to approach people with the belief that everybody is coming and doing the best that they possibly can in the situation that they're in. And when I come from that space, I find that I'm able to be so much more kind to people, um, even if they're angry or upset or hurt or cross or whatever it is that's going on. If I choose, and, and it's a choice, it's not something that you necessarily are born with, and some people are because of the environment they're in and what they've been taught. But for most of us, we're not taught to see people as coming from the best possible space. But everybody is doing the best that they possibly can with the knowledge they have, with um, the experience they have, with the, um, with the tools that they have in their life. And sometimes that comes out as anger, sometimes that comes out as um, jealousy or maliciousness. But I don't believe that that is the real truth of who we all are. I think that's just the conditioning and the behaviours that we've learned to deal with things that cause us pain. And if we're able to look at people and see beyond these constructs, these programs and beliefs that we've all created in our lives, and choose to look beyond that, to see the truth of people, then our ability to be kind to people, whoever they are, in whatever circumstances they are, is so much greater. And I would like to say that the, the next thing that I'd like to focus on with kindness is kindness to the planet, the earth that we live in, on and thinking about our actions. How do we contribute to loving and nurturing this earth that we live in? How do we contribute to promoting healthy lifestyles, not just for us, but for the planet, so that it can nurture us and generations to come? And one of the things that I've loved during this time of lockdown are seeing the videos of animals coming back into cities and towns and nature flourishing and the skies clearing and pollution going. And it's our choice. We can sit there and wait for politicians and companies to make changes, but we can also make changes. They might be smaller, but if each of us makes those changes, the impact will be even greater. We don't have to wait for somebody else to make a choice or a change. We can start with us. And it can be in little things. It can be in the journeys that we take with our car, reducing the, the amount that we do. It can be in the waste and how we recycle it. It can be our choice in foods and products. And are they nurturing the earth or are they harming the earth? There's so many different ways for us to be kind to ourselves, those we love and care about, and those we don't know about. And the earth and the environment and where we live and where we choose to make our lives within our companies as well, and our businesses. And I hope that this has inspired you to maybe take one or all, or it's entirely up to you what you choose to focus your kindness on this week. But if you've enjoyed this video, and I would really appreciate it. If you'd like it, share it, subscribe. And I also have a free five-day five course called Five Steps to Self-Awareness, and I'll put the link in the notes below. And if you want any more of my resources, because I have lots of things that I've done, you can find them on my website, which is www.britannia.com. Again, the link is in the website. And the link is below, B-R-I-T-T-A-N-Y-A.com. And so much love from me to you, and have a blessed week. Bye-bye.